Good morning. I'm going to simulate washing my hands and provide some privacy. I'm going to put on some gloves. These are clean gloves. And then don my mask. Hi, my name is Ian. I'm going to be your nurse today. And today we're going to do a dressing change on your catheter. And then I'm going to flush and put in a new locking solution into your catheter. Does that sound good? Yes. All right, to start off, can you tell me your name and date of birth? My name is Samantha Ober, and I was born May 15, 1993. Great. All right, well, to start off, I'm going to look at your catheter and look for any redness or swelling. Have you had any pain around the uh, catheter site? No, I haven't. All right. Looking at your jugular vein, I don't notice any distension. So now I'm going to take off the old dressing starting at the hub of the catheter and take it off perpendicularly. Discard the old dressing. And now I'm going to discard my gloves. And now I'm going to simulate washing my hands again, and I'm going to don my sterile gloves. So I have Sam be my assistant here to help show my sterile process. Gloves are a little bit small on me. Alright, so I'm going to Alright, if you could put the camera back for me, please. And now I'm going to clean the set catheter site. Uh, if, I, if it was dirty, I could use soap and water to clean it first, but it appears to be clean. So I'm going to use a chlorhexidine solution. If chlorhexidine was contraindicated, then I could use an iodine or iodophor or alcohol solution. I'm going to take this chloridine swab and swab the catheter site for about 30 seconds. All right, now I'll dispose of this swab and let that air dry. Once that has completed air drying, I will now put on a new clear transparent dressing. Now, in case the patient was diaphoretic, sweaty, or um, there was blood, then I would use a gauze dressing instead.
now that I've applied the new dressing, I'm going to remove my sterile gloves and dispose of them. I have to reuse these, so that's why I'm not throwing them away the normal way. Since we're just simulating. Now I'm going to wash my hands again, and then I'm going to write my initials, the date, and the time of the dressing change. Normally dressing changes can depend on policy and also the state of the dressing, but you usually change the dressing every 72 hours. All right, next I'm going to simulate flushing the catheter and then putting in a new locking solution. So. I'm going to wash my hands and don some gloves. Excellent. And now, if there was a port cap at the end of this catheter, I would remove the port cap and I would use a cleaning solution. In this case, I'm going to use an alcohol prep pad and vigorously rub the end for at least five seconds. But depending on pro uh, policy protocol, it could be longer. All right. Now I'm going to let that air dry. And next, this pen will simulate my syringe of normal saline solution. I am going to hook up the syringe to the end of the needleless port, and then I'm going to unclamp the catheter. Next, I'm going to slowly aspirate until I can see blood fill into the tubing. So I'm going to aspirate now. And uh, next, um, I'm going to inject 10 milliliters of the normal saline solution while uh, checking for patency and noting any resistance in case there's blockage. If there was blockage, then uh, we uh, might have to notify the provider in case there's a blood clot or something else. So now I'm going to slowly inject the solution. So far, no resistance. It's looking good. All right, now that I finished injecting solution, I'm going to clamp the port again and remove the syringe. Next, I'm going to inject the locking solution. So again, I'm going to clean the port for five seconds at a minimum, if not longer. And then I'm going to take my 10 milliliter syringe after I've let that dried off of locking solution. So I'll hook this up to the needleless uh, port access device and unclamp the clamp on the catheter and slowly inject the locking solution. So I'm going to do that now. Again, no signs of resistance. It's going in fine, which is great. There's no blockage. Okay, now that I've injected the locking solution, I am once again going to clamp the catheter remove my syringe and then I'm going to palpate the exit site of the catheter to see if there's any swelling. Do you have any pain? No. Good. So I'm not noticing any signs of swelling or edema which is great. So 
So I'm going to remove my gloves. And then I'm going to wash my hands. And then if there was a end cap at the end of the pour, I'll put on another pair of gloves and put on a new clean cap at the end of the catheter site. And this concludes my flushing and then uh, locking in uh, solution into your catheter. So if there's anything else, my name is Ian, I'm your nurse today, and I'll just leave your call light right there, and uh, I'll be on my way. Thank you. All right, thanks.